ahead, Meg. I am so happy she was able to reach this deal. Remember how I've been saying for Aquarius placements, when Pluto moved into Aquarius, it was going to be either make or break time. Now, this is how Pluto works. And literally for the last two years, when we had the eclipses in Taurus and Scorpio, fixed signs were getting their butts whooped. We were getting our butts whooped by the universe so that we could come out on top and understand the lesson. But Pluto destroys first anything that is not authentic to us, anything that is in our way, anything that isn't right for us. And it can be in a very harsh way. And just that death process, that dying process, you know? And so when Megan was going through all these different things, these these trials and trial and error and figuring out who was real around her, who was not, that was Pluto's, the death process, right? So now that Pluto has moved into Aquarius, is very close to her Mercury right now, she's going through a rebirth process where she is gaining back everything that she has lost, but in a now empowering and authentic way. And this is how Pluto works. And if you know any Scorpio placements, I have Scorpio placements. Scorpios will tell you, yes, it is a death and rebirth process where things get stripped away. You may feel like you're dying a lot of the times. Um, and we go through this process maybe a lot faster than people or in a lot more dramatic ways if you have strong Pluto influence or Scorpio influence in your, your chart. But you come out evolved, different, stronger, more empowered. You come out a leader or, you know, in the face of your enemies you're just on top. And so I feel like that's what's happening to Megan. But on top of that influence, she also has the Saturn influence of Aquarius and Capricorn, both ruled by Saturn. So if you didn't know, Saturn is a very karmic uh, planet. Capricorn and Aquarius, very karmic placements. And karma is just cause and effect. So what you do to others or what's done onto you will happen to others. It's just like energy exchange. So because of her going through this series of, of tests and having to push through and having to work really hard and having to, you know, just overcome the obstacles and weather the storms in her life, this is her karmic reward for working so hard and being so diligent. Now, of course, I believe there's other spiritual aspects to that. You know, I believe that sometimes people have to leave our lives. And I mean, like cross over, like die. I hope I can say that on here, <laughs> in order to help us on the other side. And as we know, Megan has had her fair share <clears throat> of losses at the very peak of her career when it first started, first started taking off. But I do feel like those angels, those ancestors on the other side are really helping her to, you know, battle her enemies in a way that may not have been possible without them on that side helping her you know so there's so many moving parts to this but congratulations to megan the stallion for finally getting you know through this this process i feel like she's on the other side of it now and she can look back and, and reflect on every everything that was taken and rebuild in a more empowering and positive way so that's just how it kind of shows up in the chart oh and one more thing that i want to add to this point of karmic rewards is that Megan is in her Saturn return right now. And your Saturn return is around the ages of 26, 27 it starts, and then it goes up until like about 30, 31. And that is a very, very karmic time because again, we're talking about Saturn, right? And so it's kind of like a, a pivotal point in your life where you can really see how far you've come and if you are on the right path or where things really start to amp up as far as challenges or you getting karmic rewards, if you have been doing the work, if you've been honest, if you've been really trying to stay on the straight and narrow, or if you need some correction. And there's a lot of really hard lessons and lessons about commitments and responsibilities. But I feel like she went through a lot of her trials before she got to her Saturn return. And she went through the lessons, she's understanding lessons. So therefore, she's able to get rewarded during her Saturn return, which can usually be a period where you're you're torn down more before you get the rewards. So I guess it can go either way. I haven't been in mine yet, so I can't say for sure. But yeah, karmic reward.